The United Kingdom has unveiled its new future fighter design. It is called Tempest. It is part of a push to replace the current Typhoon jets. The project now includes a flying prototype. This prototype is called the Combat Air Flying Demonstrator. It will test technologies for the next generation of combat aircraft. Engineers are building it now in the UK. It will help decide what the final fighter will look and fly like. Tempest is expected to enter service in the 2030s, marking a new era in British air power. This long lead time is not just about building the jet, it's about perfecting it. Engineers, designers, and defense contractors will have the breathing space to mature every aspect of the design before the aircraft is put into action. The UK is determined that when Tempest takes to the skies, it will be nothing short of world class. While this development takes place, the Royal Air Force will continue to rely on its upgraded Eurofighter Typhoons. These modernized Typhoons are still formidable in air combat and will undergo further upgrades to remain effective against emerging threats. This ensures that the UK's air defense remains solid without any capability gap during the transition. The strategy is simple. Keep the skies protected now while building the future for tomorrow. But Tempest is not just being designed as a single aircraft. It's being created as a complete system. It will fly alongside unmanned, loyal wingman drones, which can scout ahead, carry weapons, and even take risks that would be too dangerous for a human pilot. These drones will act as force multipliers, increasing the Tempest's combat flexibility and reach. Together, manned and unmanned elements will form a powerful and adaptable strike package. A core feature of Tempest will be its ability to share data instantly across a wide network of sensors, satellites, and platforms. This means the jet won't just rely on its own radar or cameras. It can tap into information from ships, ground stations, and even other allied aircraft in real time. This creates a shared battle picture, allowing pilots to make faster and smarter decisions. In a world where speed and information decide the winner, this interconnected approach greatly boosts survivability. The combination of stealth design, advanced sensors, and networked warfare makes Tempest far more than just the Typhoon's replacement. It represents a leap toward a future where air combat is as much about data as it is about speed and firepower. With the 2030s as the target, the UK is balancing patience with urgency, building a fighter that will dominate for decades to come. The result will be a system designed not only to win battles, but to shape the future of aerial warfare itself. The program is part of a larger multinational effort. Italy and Japan have joined the partnership. They contribute design work, expertise, and share development, uh, development costs. This helps spread the budget and build cooperation. Tempest brings together major UK companies. BAE Systems leads the airframe and systems integration. Rolls-Royce is in charge of propulsion innovation. MBDA contributes missile and weapons systems. Each partner brings vital capability to the project. The demonstrator will fly in the mid-2020s. Initial flights are expected around 2027. These tests will validate stealth shapes, advanced controls, and sensor fusion. They will offer a fast path to test real systems in the air. Much of the work now occurs on the ground. Engineers use digital design tools to shape the airframe virtually. Robotic manufacturing builds parts with consistent quality. This combination speeds development and cuts risk in test flights. Propulsion is a key front for innovation. Rolls-Royce is exploring hybrid electric concepts alongside conventional turbofans. These experiments aim to boost range, reduce heat, and power onboard systems. Managing energy will be central to future mission success. The shape of Tempest hides much of its radar signature. Its angles and materials help it remain stealthy. Embedded coatings and com composite panels further reduce detectability. Stealth alone isn't the whole solution, but it is foundational. The cockpit will offer human-machine teaming. Pilots will command drones via intuitive displays. Artificial intelligence will manage sensor flows. That lifts workload and improves battlefield awareness. Sensors will integrate data from air, land, sea, and space in real time. Tempest will act as a central command node. Data fusion will enhance decision speed. That will help keep crews ahead of their targets. Weapons will shift from bulky racks to networked launchers. Missiles will be shared across platforms. Multi-role pods and directed energy weapons may follow. This flexibility gives Tempest a broad impact on the battlefield. The UK sees Tempest as a job engine. Thousands of aerospace roles are tied to its development. Factories across the nation contribute parts and systems. This fuels high-skill growth beyond just the jet itself. Export potential matters too. Shared development with Italy and Japan opens markets. Other allies may join or buy future variants.
Export sales help balance costs across countries. Political backing remains strong. Defense reviews emphasize maintaining a combat aviation edge. Tempest fits that strategy. Funding continues steadily, even amid budget scrutiny. But challenges remain. Cost control matters as development scales. Integration across nations requires tight coordination. Technology must mature fast to meet timelines. That places pressure on engineering and management. To avoid capability gaps, the RAF will fly typhoons alongside Tempest prototypes. Pilots must train on both. Logistics must support two jet types. This dual-track strategy keeps readiness high. Software plays a massive role. Sensor and weapon integration drives the architecture. Security must be built in. The program also includes green goals. Sustainable materials and production methods are underway. Life cycle emissions are being tracked closely. Environmental impact matters as fleets expand. Virtual test rigs help simulate hardware before physical builds. This digital twin approach saves time. It helps engineers spot issues early. That boosts confidence before flight tests. On the first flights, data will pour in. Pilots and ground staff will gather telemetry. Engineers will use that to refine software and control laws. Learning cycles will tighten quickly. Tempest must prove that sixth-generation ideas work in real airspace. That means high-speed, low-signature flight. It means operating with drones and satellites. It means real-time fights with future weapons. If that proves successful, Typhoon replacements will follow. A new production line will emerge. Operating squadrons will form in the early 2030s. Futures like long-distance air superiority lie ahead. Beyond the jet, the program leaves a legacy. Digital design tools, factory upgrades, and AI flows will echo across industry. Civil aviation and export competition will benefit too. Defense-driven innovation often spills into broader markets. For the RAF, this means new training regimes. Pilots and crew will learn teaming, drones, and AI support. Simulation centers will rebuild training models. That modernization sets the stage for future air combat tactics. Global competition is fierce. China and the United States also develop sixth-generation fighters. Tempest must stay ahead of or match those rivals. That pushes urgency across development team. Performance won't just be good, it must excel. International partners bring diverse perspectives. Italy's industrial base adds airframe and systems work. Japan brings sensor and robotics contributions. Collaboration increases resilience and creativity. It also widens political support. In testing, incremental confidence builds. Initial flights test aerodynamics. Later phases will evaluate autonomous operations. Then weapons and stealth. Each step reveals more of Tempest's future shape. Success lies in balancing risk with pace. Too fast and failures cost time. Too slow and adversaries advance. Teams guide each milestone carefully. That mix of ambition and caution defines the project. The logic behind Tempest is grounded in the belief that future conflicts will no longer be isolated to one battlefield or single dimension. Instead, they will be multi-domain, where air, sea, ground, cyber, and even space operations all merge into one interconnected fight. In such a scenario, the aircraft is not just a machine for speed or firepower, it becomes the anchor for an entire network of operations. Tempest must serve as the central hub that links these domains together, ensuring seamless communication and coordination across all platforms. This means the jet is not merely a fast-flying weapon, but the foundation of a complex web of systems. Its role goes beyond engaging enemy aircraft. It must act as a command center in the sky, orchestrating drones, satellites, ships, and ground forces. Every sensor, data link, and onboard system will help define the outcome of a battle before the first shot is even fired. In a future where milliseconds matter, the ability to process and act on information instantly will determine victory or defeat. Beyond its technical capabilities, the public narrative surrounding Tempest carries its own strategic importance. In the wake of Brexit, the program serves as proof that the United Kingdom can still innovate on the global stage. It becomes a symbol of national pride, projecting both defense independence and technological leadership. This narrative reassures citizens and allies alike that the UK is committed to investing in advanced skills, manufacturing capacity, and strategic industries. The political and social impact of Tempest cannot be underestimated. By anchoring a long-term defense project at home, it supports job creation, strengthens industrial expertise, and inspires the next generation of 
engineers, and scientists. It shows that high-technology defense projects are not just about military power, but also about sustaining national capability. In this way, the program becomes as much a social investment as it is a strategic one. Looking ahead to 2035, the aircraft we fly will be a blend of human courage and machine intelligence. Pilots will no longer be limited to what their own eyes can see or hands can control. Instead, they will command fleets of drones that extend their vision and strike capability far beyond the horizon. The Tempest will likely incorporate stealth features that allow it to cloak itself from enemy radar, making it nearly invisible in hostile skies. Its advanced sensors will detect threats long before they come into visual range, giving the pilot unmatched situational awareness. Such capabilities redefine what air power means in the modern age. No longer is an aircraft just a platform for weapons, it becomes a platform for information dominance. Tempest embodies this shift by stacking digital, robotic, and human elements into one seamless system. The aircraft will be able to adapt, learn, and respond faster than any conventional fighter before it. In essence, Tempest is more than a plane. It is a moving hub of modern warfare. It represents the convergence of technology, strategy, and national ambition. As the UK rolls out this ambitious project, it is not just building an aircraft, it is shaping the next era of combat aviation. The canvas has been rolled up, the design has taken form, and the future of flight has already begun to take flight. If you enjoyed diving into the future of air combat with Tempest, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. More stories on innovation, defense, and technology are coming. Don't miss what's next.